manager asked us to share something difficult about our childhoods for team bonding. What ensued was deeply uncomfortable. One co-worker sobbed while sharing that her father molested her when she was a toddler. Another shared that her mother died of cancer. It's one thing to gradually learn more about someone over time. It's another thing to force trauma bonding. I don't need to know the depths of someone's past experiences to work well with them. It's a workplace. Not a family. Worst. Icebreaker. Ever. UG. I'm a teacher and I've experienced this too. Like, I love that schools are becoming trauma-informed and helping kids with emotional regulation, but the professional development time used to teach us about this stuff should not include making us talk about our personal family trauma. Just tell me what I need to know for my job and I'll talk about my trauma w my therapist. This is extremely inappropriate. I don't know why any manager thinks this is a good idea. I would refuse. Some people who have deeply fucked up childhoods or who grew up in extreme poverty don't always realize that some of their funny stories are deeply fucked up or horrifying to people who didn't live that way. Like someone I know who was like when I was six I got woken up by my mom fucking a random dude with a glow in the dark condom on my bed because I fell asleep on the floor. The correct reply would be no, this is inappropriate in a professional business setting. Later in life, I realized that you don't have to tell the truth in these situations. Due to the power imbalance the manager is 100 responsible for the fallout. I would high-five the employees who ran with it tbh. Hopefully the manager learned their lesson? I would have started telling the aristocrats joke. My manager once gathered all of the employees and asked us to trauma dump on each other for 30 minutes and then forced us to go back to work with a smile on our face. I'm shocked they went so far with answers, most people would say something normal mild, broken arm, cut from blah team, failed a class, etc. What happens to what are some hobbies you enjoy? This sounds like when a cult, at your initiation, gets dirt on you to hold over your head later and manipulate you. I'm pretty sure they want to use it against people or to know their weak spots at least. Once, when I was in a team meeting, my manager asked me to share something that was nobody's business. The end. We had this on our first day at a new factory. First 50. Pass. Come on, you have to tell us a little more than that. Hard pass. Ever worked in a factory? 1,000 bored to death people doing monotonous jobs. They produce more gossip and high school drama than they do product. The last thing you want is for those people to know intimate details. I had this teacher once that forced a bunch of us to share something difficult from our lives. She created a very difficult situation for all of us. She was a horrible teacher and a real asshole. Do you work for Michael Scott? That's awful. My old manager did this at the beginning of COVID lockdowns to try to get the team more engaged while working virtually. I don't like icebreakers to start with because there's almost always going to be someone who feels othered based on the question. When she got into the trauma bonding shit I said I didn't like being called out to share publicly and she wrote me up for bullying. Still can't figure that nonsense out. One co-worker sobbed while sharing that her father molested her when she was a toddler. It's an insane thing to ask in a team building session, but WTF who thinks this is the kind of thing you should share? This is forced trauma bonding JFC. Well there was this one time my mom had a bunch of her friends over and she brought me to her group and asked me to describe something upsetting that had happened to me to this bunch of strangers. I found it traumatizing and vowed to never do anything like that again. TMI. The manager is grossly inappropriate but doesn't anyone else know about boundaries? Work is not a therapy session. They at least need to bring in a licensed mental health professional for this shit. Should have said your parents were killed in a trapeze accident. Then some crazy rich guy adopted you and trained you to fight crime. I lie in any meeting asking me for anything personal. 
We aren't friends and I don't want to tell you anything about me at work. I have the perfect response. Growing up in Panama as a child I was tasked with defending the country in honor of our generalismo. I took down three with my pelota before I could arm myself with a pistol I took off a dead US Army officer. I find it ironic I now live in the US after spilling American blood in my youth and liking it. Oh and I also like PC gaming and have two cats in addition to my oracle skills. By the way s for all you mega patriots. My sister's company did this too specifically used the phrasing childhood trauma. It truly is some sorry to bother you shit. I had a supervisor that would always try to bond with any mental health struggles by sharing their way too recently kicked heroin habit. Like, I'm proud of you dude I guess but I need you to relax and let me go this way for a bit. Our hamster broke out of his cage fuck the teenager watching him while we were on vacation, and sob bb, he went missing, until a week later we found him dead in the basement. Fuzzy d's cause of death appeared to be not being able to poop out the screw he ate wa. This is awful. I worked for a company once that asked you, on your first day, in front of like 20 people you just met, to share something about yourself that no one else knows. Like WTF does that even mean? Forced first day icebreakers are the worst. One time I ripped my foreskin while masturbating to Jessica Rabbit while watching Space Jam. I won't talk about what happened during Old Yeller though. I'm too ashamed. I can do this all day long. And don't ever 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 share any secrets with your boss especially family or private details of your past neither co-workers. Keep your mouth shut. If ever asked lie or say no thank you. It's a workplace. Not a family. Absolutely right. That whole family concept needs to be removed. Not sure why it started, but it almost always proves false. What about, what is a cute story from your childhood you or your family like to tell? That's way easier and accessible may help people remember something about each other that isn't horrific. Some people can get triggered by being forced to bring up their past. This will do more harm than good. Also, work environments are not always so nice. I can see people gossiping, or where someone takes it upon themselves to show how caring they are and push the person into deeper talks, making it uncomfortable and maybe triggering trauma. This is very dangerous and could end in company getting sued. No thanks. Bizarre subject, and people overshared a bit. Usually people offer up something less traumatic. Gross, total cringe. Had a co-worker once say something to the effect of my name is Dick Uresti and I have anal fissures. His name was Jared. I don't even like talking about my personal life at all at work. I would rather my co-workers just know my first name and nothing else about me. I've always been like this I don't know why. I will talk with my co-workers and tell them things so I don't seem like a weirdo and because I don't want to be disliked. But I'm never really comfortable with it. I would flat out refuse this kind of nonsense at work. It's a workplace. I would have recited a time when our boss Bernie was dead and we had to take him around with us. I bet the manager wasn't expecting people to open up so deeply. I'm sure the expectation was I had to work my way through college or my parents were divorced. Why anyone would choose to share the specific examples is beyond me. Is your boss Michael Scott? I had a teacher that tried this in the 70s. Everyone just made up something silly. It ended pretty quickly when the teacher realized we weren't stupid enough to give other students something to taunt us with. When I was a child, my father died in a team bonding exercise. He was supposed to do a trust fall and nobody caught him, crushing his skull. When they ask you if you're serious, go on the offensive and say that they are belittling your trauma and then complain to HR. This sounds like it could have been a fairly awesome malicious compliance. Wasn't that what they did at an cult? They used it to blackmail the members in the future. I would have declined. 